facing a potential race between the vaccination rollout and the spread of this uh, South African variant. Turning right now to the coronavirus here in Connecticut, the highly, highly contagious South African variant has now reached our state. A patient from Fairfield County is the first known case. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us now live. And Matthew, why do doctors believe there are many more? Well, Aaron and Mark, it's because we don't adequately test for these strains. Doctors say we're starting to do more now, but not nearly enough to accurately gauge just how widespread these variants are. It's more contagious and it's more resistant to the vaccine. And now the South African variant is in our backyard. This is very worrying and it's something we're going to have to monitor very closely. The patient, who is between 60 and 70 years old, lives in Fairfield County and is being treated in a New York hospital. Dr. Robert Hecht is from the Yale School of Public Health and says the vaccine has been proven to be less effective against the variant. It's been less effective, we think, against all of the vaccines that are out there. Doctors believe the Fairfield County patient isn't the only one out there tonight because health officials say this patient had not recently traveled. The one that's been identified um, is only one of a number of cases. It's hard to know exactly uh, how big the iceberg is below that, that tip. Several university doctors are tasked with gauging the scope of that iceberg. They comb through the confirmed cases to identify these strains, but Hecht says it's not happening to the extent it should. The so-called genetic or genomic testing of the and sequencing of the uh, of the virus is just not happening on the scale that we need uh, in this country. That results in the strains going undetected. One of the biggest consequences of that is the potential to prolong the pandemic. We expect that the, the UK uh, variants, which have been in the US in larger numbers for longer, will become the dominant strain in some parts of the country uh, within the next uh, four to six weeks. Now, even though these variants are more contagious, the CDC says, says it's not more deadly and the symptoms won't be more severe. And we actually have a step on the virus that we didn't have when it was first introduced. We've been wearing the mask, we've been staying apart, and we have the vaccine. Doctors say if the rollout continues quickly, our daily positivity rate, which has been improving, can continue on that path. Live here in the newsroom, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. All right.